Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I am back, and I am still alive. It's been a few days. Uh, I haven't come back to you since, uh, I believe, Monday. Um, Monday or Tuesday, whenever it was. Uh, had a few things come in. Um, it's kind of slowed down, so I didn't film a video when I was busy, and probably still will be this weekend, just with work and stuff, and just got back from running some errands today. I uh, thought I'd do a real quick recap if I could and try and get this video up. Uh, so this will be Wednesday through Friday. Uh, started off with Wednesday, got two golfers in, both on the custom 4x6 photos. This is Rives McGee, or McB, not McGee, so different name, and uh, nice signature there on the golf ball. And then another golfer, Morse. Tatowski. He, I believe he's like six foot nine or something like that. So he's a pretty tall dude. And this is from Thursday. Uh, we got an RTS first. Another golfer, Doug Tool. Um, there's the new address. Um, don't know if I'll send that out again or not. Not really sure. And then the only success I had for that day. Was a uh, former pitcher, Bill Fisher. I had a Hugh Graf sweet spot. And shout out to Serenity Sports for this idea. Saw so he got him back. Uh, his link will be down below. So thanks, Ted, for this idea. I got this old black and white photo of him, Bill Fisher. Bill C. Fisher, too, if you're looking for him. So that's a cool one. And then yesterday, uh, two more return senders, which were both from World War II veterans. One I did get a new address for. That's Arthur Seltzer. There's the new address. Uh, forward and time expired. And this one, I have no idea how it got back to me. Because the sticker's over my address. <laughs> but came return center for another World War II veteran. And there's no new address for him. So don't know what happened there. Um, guess he must have moved. Or I broke down something wrong and this is from an email um, I'm surprised it even got here considering it's an autograph it's just on a postcard this is how it came I'm not gonna flip the back because we got my address but as far as uh, actually I'm surprised it even got here because they addressed it as court and not circle <laughs> so whatever but uh, just a postcard of Perry King completely forgot I even sent out got damage on its face there but this this is just how it was you know just like that just, that's the back of the photo there <laughs> just just the postcard so I'm surprised that somebody didn't go ooh I guess maybe they didn't recognize Perry King or something but yeah I don't I don't remember sending that but apparently I did back in October when I sent out all those email requests so anyways free autograph cool uh, next up, he signed the back, which is perfectly fine. Um, this, the pen or sharpie he was using didn't quite come out that great, but oh well. Uh, director and stunt coordinator and all kinds of stuff. Actor, uh, Buddy Van Horn. Their picture with Clint Eastwood. See over here on the left. I believe he's 87, 88 years old now. He put all the best Buddy Van Horn back there. Kind of hard to see, but uh, still cool. Obviously, Clint Eastwood probably would never sign unless you get him in person or something. You just get free prints from him. Um, former Boston Bruins hockey player Dave Forbes with uh, High Caleb, number 14, and Colossians 1, 9 through 12 inscription. Uh, this took about a month. Uh, he lives here in Colorado. Again, the Boston Bruins seem to be a really good signing team from all their former players, so I just keep sending them out. Uh, i got a Hall of Famer here uh, for the baseball writers. He covers the Rockies. This is Tracy Ringlesby with Hall of Fame 06 inscription. He is in the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum. So, pretty cool. Got him back. That was really quick, too. He lives in Wyoming. This one was out for a little bit uh, since November. Golfer 
Jim Colbert. I don't know who that is next to him. But uh thought that was a cool photo. Figured if I ever figured out who that was he was shaking hands with, I can maybe send him. Another golfer here, Gene Littler. Champion chip uh, champion golfer. He's uh about eighty five, eighty six years old or so. And we got on a custom Gary Koch, hand of best wishes, it looks really good. And final TTM is a World War II veteran, so finally had a successful World War II. Uh, this is Louis Mamula Sr. He fought in Guadalcanal, Tarawa, and he was in the 1st Battalion, 6th Marines. And my 4x6 custom that Sean makes for me, and you can buy them from him. He also did a note and said, Caleb, living life and all of its challenges is the greatest adventure you'll ever experience. Live it. Semper Fi, Louis Mamula. So, pretty cool, Mr. Mamula. Thank you so much for your service and for signing my the picture for me. And I also got a surprise, uh, I guess just because package from Troy Rudder. Um, he said he doesn't really do playbills. Um, I have not sent a playbill request. Thought about doing it for my mom since she likes Broadway plays and stuff like that. Um, let's see, let me see if I can find the cast names first. Here we go. So it's a playbill from uh, our mother's brief affair. Not probably not something I would go to see, but you know, <laughs> still cool to get an autograph. Um, the autographs are Linda Lavin, Kate. Arrington, Greg Keller, and John Procasino. Let's see. Read that. I heard. I think I've heard of Greg Keller and maybe Linda Lavin, but the other two I do not recognize. So, thanks, Troy. Um, I'll include his link down in the description. Don't have any of those people's autographs, so cool. I did not expect you to send that. And I just finished your book, so I should be. Uh, to send it to you and get autographed in a little bit so that's it guys uh, maybe there'll be some more mail today saturday evening uh, we shall see so talk to you later and have a good day bye